everyone, today I would like to talk to you about the game that I recently discovered, uh, the game that came to my attention thanks to a Facebook post by someone, uh, namely Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach. This is supposed to be a Warhammer 40k turn-based game on PC, on Steam. The game is being uh, developed by Straylight Entertainment and published by Slytherin Limited. So, the trailer has been the teaser trailer has been released uh, only on 2nd of August, and I am not really sure how it skipped my attention for 20 over 20 days. So, without further ado, let's uh, jump into the uh, trailer and talk about the game a little bit more after we see the trailer. Just to recap a little bit, uh, Sanctus Reach has first been featured in Stormclaw box set uh, for 40k that has been released a year or a year ago. Right now we have a chance to play an actual game, a turn-based strategy game developed by uh, Straylight Entertainment. Uh, the developers are promising us, uh, as they say on their uh, Steam page, uh, fast, immediate, deep and impressive to look at and incredibly fun. So hopefully this is not going to be a very serious strategy game, but uh, just something to play as a break from other games. This game is going to feature 45 maps, missions and skirmishes uh, to play on. Obviously we will be able to play as Orcs or as well, Space Wolf Space Marines. Uh, there's going to be plenty of uh, characters that are also featured in the Sanctus Reach campaign, which is very cool. Uh, from what we can read on their page, uh, there's going to be uh, 30 Space Wolf units and uh, 30 Orc Goth units, including the prominent Gorkonaut, so we will be able to play uh, with a huge, huge ass uh, monster by Orcs. And obviously, uh, for uh, Space Wolves, we will have an Imperial Knight, which is always fun to have these, these huge toys. Um, there are going to be generated skirmish maps uh, for you know with different terrain, different environments, and apparently uh, addictive multiplayer modes. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But let's have a quick look at some of the screenshots that are also featured on their Steam uh, Steam yeah Steam uh, page uh, to see how it really looked like and if it's going to be really impressive to look at. So the first screenshot shows us a small army, small detachment of Oak Goths uh, charging a, uh, an army of Space Marines. Uh, from what we can see here, that uh, terrain uh, looks very scattered. Obviously this is a uh, orky area, most probably, because there's plenty of mech garages and, and, and fortifications of sorts. Uh, but what we can see by the models of uh, Orcs themselves they are very repetitive so they this is not like Dome of War that each orc looks different they all look the same this is nothing that bad obviously uh, they've got some uh, habits that stayed from probably uh, Armageddon a game that they have also released but from up top the game looks quite cool uh, I must say the models are quite detailed from that distance uh, but as you could see on the trailer up close they are not that great the flat surfaces are very flat and uh, bland especially on Space Wolves but that might be their color actually so uh, yeah so we, as you can see the models are one-to-one -one representation of what we can get in the box sets which is in my opinion very good uh, for some it might be uh, not that creative but I think that you know they want to represent the battlefield the tabletop battlefield that you might see on in the, in the actual game so the next screenshot shows us orcs from the front and as you can see uh, I was not lying the models are exactly what you get in the box set. I'm a little bit worried uh, with the scale of the knob on the right hand side on the very edge and the mech gun. Uh, the mech gun is not that small, it's actually bigger than the orc, uh, but that might be the perspective, that might be uh, still something that is in development phase. Uh, and the Gretchen, the Gretchen look too flimsy for me, uh, but you know, uh, that might be again uh, still some beta pictures of, of some sorts, but 
Dreadnoughts, a uh, Death Dread, sorry, and Killer Cans look really awesome. And we can also see a Death Copter in the very uh, left top corner, uh, which looks really nice. And obviously the scenery, very oaky scrapyard style scenery. So the next screenshot sort of explains us how the turn-based mechanic is going to work. It's not going to be an uh, actual tabletop 40k uh, turn-based mechanic with uh, you know each unit has uh, having their own distances and us being able to move them freely. It's just going to be like small chess or checkers. Uh, but as you can see there's plenty of uh, space wolves running around. I'm not sure if they are going to be able to move individually or as units because you can't really tell. As you can see on the left corner, yeah, on the left hand side, on the very edge, we've got four space marines in one square, and mostly there are just four within each square. That sort of uh, negates what we have in the actual game, but maybe this is uh, some kind of a simplification. Uh, to mix everything up, like the big mech guns uh, from the previous screenshot, we've got the old Gorka Morka style war buggies, which are still legal models, but they are horribly, horribly ugly. This might look like the most boring picture of all of those that are, I will be presenting in this uh, short video, but it also hints to one very important thing. The terrain, some, especially the imperial terrain, is going to be a one-to-one -one representation of the actual existing models. We can see the bastion that looks exactly the same, maybe minus the guns that are missing in this one. Uh, the Aegis line uh, and the bits of it uh, are everywhere. I'm not sure about those thick blocks uh, that are f forming some kind of a barrier. Maybe they are uh, available in Forge World. But we can also see the tank traps that are like from old Gorka Morka style uh, and uh, other buildings on the right hand side. We've got the tower, like a church of, of some sort, which looks exactly like the one from the box. What is again sort of worrying, uh, but also confirming what I just said on the previous uh, uh, screenshot, the there are no 40k uh, tabletop units. As you can see, we've got four sp uh, Space Wolves, even three or two even Terminators in a unit. So this is kind of weird, but we'll have to see how it plays. Maybe there's, there's some logic behind it. So on this screenshot, we can see a couple of interesting things. First of all, uh, we, we can see two dread, uh, dreadnoughts uh, with twin link, two twin link auto cannons, but we can also see that are already like painted and weathered, so they look exactly like the models again you get from the box. But you can get, get some ideas on how to paint them, how to uh, detail your models in the future. Uh, on the oxide, nothing really fancy except for the barricades, uh, which might be some ideas on how to model your own and we can see the mech guns and the oak boys and knobs wandering around in their own um, uh, camp of sorts. The fallen thunderhawk is one of the scenery bits in here, uh, it's painted in uh, Space Wolf's colors obviously, but what, the one thing that really uh, brings smile to my face is that the knob, because I think that's a knob in the center fighting with three Space Wolves, is actually bigger than uh, the Space Marines models, which is very cool. As an Orc, uh, orc fanboy, uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with that view. Uh, so maybe the different scale is, is, just, a, is just a trick to, to, to show that the, the Orcs are actually bigger. I sincerely hope that this is an early beta stages of the game, because if the terrain is going to look like this, I'm not going to be a happy bunny uh, buying this game. But what uh, sort of is really cool is that we can see the pipeline uh, in place, we can see the sort of board that you can buy, the Imperialist Sector board uh, that can be bought from Games Workshop, and the terrain is actually some kind of a representation of the existing ones, again. ha. This is what I like to see, a proper orky encampment. Uh, we can see plenty of orcs wandering around, uh, war buggies in the, in the garage, a truck that really doesn't look like the truck from the actual game, but what the hell, it looks cool. Uh, and from that scale, from that distance, uh, it's gonna probably look even better. So just to close it off, I think this game has a huge potential especially if they don't screw up the actual turn-based gaming mechanic. Uh, because if it's going to be too simplified, I think that it's not going to, you know, the hardcore players will not find anything cool about it because, you know, it's going to be too simplified. And 
we don't like that. I mean, obviously we play the game that has hundreds of books, thousands of pages and millions of little, little rules and, and, and special rules and uh, even more special rules, uh, rules overriding rules, rule over, over, overriding other rules and FAQs and erratas and everything. We don't like simple, we like complicated stuff, I guess. But as an entry level for someone who wants to play the game and just spend 5-10 minutes every every now and again, I don't see why not, especially if the price is going to be right. So we'll have to see, uh, for now there's no confirmed price as far as I know. Uh, the game is supposed to be released in November 2016, so very soon, two, two months away. And that's what worries me a little bit that some of these pictures were not beta version, that were actually alpha or pre-alpha version, meaning this is how it's gonna look like. So this is my opinion guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please leave a like or comment even on the video, what are your thoughts about the game. Thank you, see you again.